This is the part 2 of the video I did in part 1. In this video, I want to share some extra tips. In part 1, I wrote this script where we injected just one byte. It was like this. Just one byte. But if what if you want to inject more than one byte? What if you want to patch more than one byte? So to do that, you can create a table. For example, you can create a table like this. And we list down the bytes that we want to patch. So over here, we can change the second parameter of the write bytes function to do the table. Like this. So in this case, you write two bytes to this location 7422. Okay, so now I close this and we can give it a test. So in this case here, in this test, we are writing two bytes to replace these two bytes. 7422 will be replaced with EB22. The reason why I preserve the second byte as 22 is just an example. So now let's see. If I press F12 and while holding down F12, I activate the script. And now when I click OK, this will become EB22. And when I click check, it shows the correct key because it will jump. It will jump to show the correct key message. Now if I were to now deactivate the script, click OK. Now it replace the original byte 7422. So now when I press this check, it will show the bad message. So that's all I want to say here. How to create, how to patch multi bytes into a AOB result scan. So use the second parameter as a table and create your table here with all the bytes that you want to patch. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and the earlier videos, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.